what's up guys so finally i am here doing another youtube channel um so you know as you guys know uh my main platform is instagram um but on instagram i recently posted on my insta story uh who would want either a food video or a makeup video or a question and answer and you guys requested both but the food video actually won as you can see got 34 and then i think it's 27 so today i'm gonna be doing a food video and i'm going to be doing a pasta i kind of recreated this one well not really recreated it but um i once went to the cheesecake factory and um i thought this pasta was really really good and i'm like hey like like i'm gonna try it you know i'm gonna try to do it at home to see if i could do it so I tried doing it and it came out almost identical to the pasta so yeah so then just follow along and see how I do this recipe. so right now what I put I put it in a pot of uh, water uh, what we're gonna be adding onto this water is gonna be grapeseed oil just a bit though not too much and then we're gonna be adding a little bit of salt as you can see This water, you're gonna let it hit to a boil. Once it's boiling, then you're gonna place in your uncooked pasta. Uh, the reason why I put the oil and the salt, uh, honestly, I've seen it from another YouTube video, but I've heard that the oil kind of kills the bacteria. I'm not too sure that's so true. And the salt is just kind of for taste when the pasta's cooking. Um, and yeah, so we're just gonna let that boil and let's get started on cooking. I mean, on cooking, my bad. I'm cutting the chicken. So what you're gonna do is kind of just hold the chicken down and cut it into a thin slice. Not too thick, but not too thin either. Come closer, camera guy. Okay, so then we're gonna be cutting it almost like in uh, like little squares, I guess. I don't know, it just depending on how you want them. My family kind of just likes it like thinner pieces, I guess you can say. It doesn't really matter how you make them. I mean, what you can also do is you can just cook the chicken like this on high heat and then later throughout like um, when everything's almost ready, uh, you can cut the chicken into pieces and just throw it in there. It's honestly up to you and up to your preference. God, this is just nice, man. So before I get started on anything else, this I'm going to show you guys all the ingredients. We're going to basically need a chicken breast, which is all cut it up already. We're going to need two garlics, a tomato, Italian sausage. I usually get this one at Trader Joe's, and it's an Italian sausage it's hot, which is a little spice to it. It's really good. I really recommend it. Uh, and we're going to need parsley um, and rosemary. Uh, if you want to throw in at the end a little bit of parsley flakes, that's always good a good idea. Onion, paprika, powdered garlic, black pepper, mozzarella cheese, modern salt, and uncooked pasta. Oh, and I'm forgetting the most important part. We're going to be needing this bad boy here. A tomato basil marinara sauce. We're going to be seasoning the chicken with a little bit of salt. A little bit of uh, powdered garlic and a little bit of black pepper. Once all that is seasoned, just gonna leave that there for a quite a couple of seconds. We're gonna get into cutting the garlic. We want to place in the garlic um, with the chicken so it can cook together, so the chicken can. Can kind of get marinated with the garlic and it can have like somewhat of a garlic taste so 
I'm going to be using two garlic cloves. Honestly, it's up to you if you want to use more. I mean, um, I know that there's people that love garlic. And, you know, garlic gives a good taste to a lot of the foods, mostly pastas. Uh, me and my family just usually put in two or, or three. That's normally what we use because we don't like too much the, too much of a garlic taste. But it's honestly up to your preference. So we're going to place this in the skillet. I already have it on medium heat. I already added a little bit of oil. We're going to put in the garlic first. We're going to let it sit there for quite a minute so it can kind of, the oil can kind of get the flavor of the garlic. And then once it's like kind of there for like maybe a minute or so, then you're going to throw in the chicken. So what you're going to do is just kind of like Move the garlic around so all the oil, the flavors can get all over the pan or the skillet, whatever you call this shit, to be honest. I don't know. I just know that I cook in it and that's about it. We're going to start throwing in the chicken so the chicken can start cooking. camera got you a little bit closer um the water is now boiling so once it hits to that point you can see like the bubbles obviously like rising up or whatever you say however you say it it's basically boiling already so we're gonna throw in our uncooked pasta and for my family it's just three of us so we won't need too much but if you have a bigger family, then you would probably use all of this. But usually, we just usually use half of it because, like I said, it's only three of us in the family. So, yeah, we just, we don't need too much, you know. So, you're going to let it sit there for about maybe 10 minutes or until you notice that it's a bit soft. You're going to obviously not grab it with your hands. Do not ever do that. Uh, you're going to get a fork and then see if it's soft enough. And then once it's soft, you're going to drain it. And then you're going to wait until all the you start mixing all the ingredients. We're going to start now cooking the sausage. And I'm sure most of you guys noticed that I use this knife to cut the chicken. Always make sure that when you're cutting any chicken, uh, any beef, anything to have to do with meat-wise, Make sure to wash it and sanitize it. I already washed and sanitized my knife, so I'm gonna be reusing it for something else. So just make sure to do that. <laughs> We're gonna now start cutting the sausage. Gotta make sure to kind of like peel it. I'm gonna be using three just because in our family, you know, we love sausage kind of, so yeah. We're going to be using three of them. But, I mean, like I said, if you have a bigger family, you can use all five, depending on how many you guys are in your family. Or just if you love sausage in general, you can use all of it. Go ahead. I mean, there's no rules to the kitchen, you know? You make your own rules, so. So, we're going to be cutting the sausage and square sausage is kind of always hard for me to cut so well, honestly just going to be cutting it into like little pieces honestly you can even just grab it and like kind of just do this just because it like comes off just so easily it's going to stay in place once you cook it so you don't have to worry about that you just want kind of like smaller pieces you don't want too much of a big piece because we need all the flavors of this sausage because this is a what's well, gonna be giving the pasta the main flavor since it has a spice to it. So the chicken is now cooked. Uh, it's been cooking for about 15 minutes on high heat. We like it a little bit like to get a little brownish kind of ish. Now that that's ready, I'm going to be just closing it and leaving that on the side. Because uh, we're going to place that in later in the video. Now we're going to get into cutting um, parsley. 
Uh, you can get parsley, uh, the, the powder one, or this one, the flakes, but honestly, it tastes just so much better with natural ingredients, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, we're going to be cutting this, and we're also going to be cutting a little bit of uh, rosemary to throw into the sausage. As you can see, we haven't put the sausage in just yet because we're going to be throwing in the parsley and the rosemary uh, with it so it can get all the flavors together. So I use that knife as a smaller knife to just cut and then this one to cut into smaller pieces. You know, I wish I was a chef, but um, you know, the chefs nowadays be cutting everything like and like, you know, I can't do that. Like, I do everything at my pace, you know, so you guys gotta bear with me. So, you're gonna be cutting into like thin, or not thin, but small pieces. Now we're gonna be chopping up the uh, rosemary. I've got a few little leaves here. We're gonna be putting them all together, like this. And then we're just going to be chopping them into small pieces. It doesn't matter if you mix it with the parsley because we're going to be throwing them together anyways. So it really doesn't matter. I try to cut them as small as I can because, you know, it's not always a good thing when you, like, actually start eating the food and then you get like a big piece and then you actually taste the full on flavor of like the leaf or like whatever you're biting off on the same thing with garlic you know it's not always good for it to be big because you cannot taste like the full flavor and sometimes just by itself the flavor is not that good it has to be well mixed in with everything so yeah. okay so now we're gonna Leave that there and we're going to start cutting our tomato and our onion because we're going to be throwing in the onion, the tomato, the parsley, the rosemary, and the sausage in all together so it can get all that flavor together. So we're going to start cutting the onion. It's square. We're just going to cut it into small squares. Honestly, I know that people cut it differently, but uh, I hate cutting tomato and onion. I just, it's not my thing. So, uh, yeah, I cut it like this. I know other people cut it, like, a lot faster, whatever the case is. But something that has to do a lot with the knives that you're using. Unfortunately, I don't have that well of knives just yet. I'm working my way up there, but, um, yeah. Okay, now we're going to be doing the onion. We're going to be cutting them into very thin pieces. We're not going to be using all of it. This is half of an onion, and I think I'm going to be using half of half of this. So half of, half of, half of the onion. <laughs> um, because like I said... My family is pretty small, so we don't need too much. And don't worry, for onion, you can cut it in like bigger chunks and then um, with a bigger knife, just kind of chop it up into smaller pieces and that'll work perfectly fine. I also hate cutting onion, like I said earlier. It's not my thing, but watch. Look at the trick. This is the trick of bottling it. You can just go. So, see, it cuts it into a little bit of smaller pieces. So, I'm going to be turning on my 
stove or not stove but the olla uh, I'm gonna be uh, placing it on medium heat and now I'm gonna start throwing in all this stuff so first we're gonna throw in the sausage Then we're gonna get into throwing the parsley and the rosemary. For now, we're just gonna leave it like that for quite, I wanna say perhaps um, about 10 minutes or whenever you start seeing that the sausage is almost cooked. Uh, depending on how much you place in there as well, it, it might take a little bit longer if you're using more. For me, like I said, I only, I only use three sausages. So it's only, like, only going to take about maybe 10 minutes. So we're going to leave that there to cook. We're going to place the lid over and just let it cook in there. And then once that is almost fully cooked, we're going to throw in the, the onion and the tomato. So my pasta is finally done cooking. As you can see, they're nice and soft already. I already tasted one and they're perfect right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start draining it. Hopefully this is not too hot. Okay, yeah, it's kind of hot. So make sure you grab like maybe a towel and um, another towel. So that way we can drain them. I'm gonna drain it into mm. as you can see the pasta is already well cooked so now we're just gonna leave it there to drain completely and meanwhile we're gonna just uh, take a quick look on the sausage to see how the sausage is doing As you can see, the sausage is kind of like midway cooked. It's almost there, but not yet. So what we're gonna do right now, I forgot to show one of the ingredients. As you can see, the sausage is almost fully cooked. So we're gonna throw in, let me move this out of the way. We're gonna be throwing in the tomato, the onion, And now we're going to throw in a little bit of milk. We're approximately going to be using about maybe um, half a cup of milk. I usually don't measure things, you know, because I just kind of let tanteo a little bit so yeah so we're gonna just let that simmer for maybe about two minutes or so and then once that's done simmering we're gonna throw in the uh, mozzarella tomato basil or my bad i meant to say tomato basil marinara sauce <laughs> my bad guys <laughs> tomato basil marinara sauce everything looks to be almost simmered already so i'm sure they got all the flavors already we're just going to be throwing the sauce in there now so i can cook with everything and just get all the flavors now meanwhile that's kind of heating up a little we're gonna add our seasonings to it i'm gonna be adding a bit smoked paprika in it we're gonna be adding bits just a bit of garlic not too much a little bit of black pepper
a little bit of salt. And last but not least, we're going to be adding a few red pepper flakes. And if you desire for it to be more spicier, what you can do is add more red pepper flakes. Uh, today I'm not going to be making it that spicy just because my daughter is going to be eating some of this pasta. So we don't want it to be that spicy, but... I actually made it with the spice and what I usually do is I usually toast like about maybe two or three um, chiles de arbol and I blend it with the sauce, with this sauce. Or if you have chile in, in like in handy, like if you have some in the refrigerator that you already made, you can just throw a bit of chile in there, mix it up and it'll give the pasta a bit of a spice and it'll give it a really good flavor. But for now, we're just gonna let the seasoning simmer all together. And once it's fully simmered, I will be back to place in the rest of the stuff. So once it's kind of simmering already, what you're gonna do is kind of um, taste the sauce before anything to see how it is in flavor. Mmm, it's good. And um, to make sure if you're missing any more salt, any more paprika, or if you want more of a spice to it, you can add more red pepper flakes. It's honestly up to you, but always make sure to taste it be before you add any other ingredient. But as for me, everything seems to be perfectly fine already. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be adding the chicken. Oh, this is hot. <laughs> yeah, don't ever do that, my friends. Let me grab something really quick. You know, accidents happen in the kitchen sometimes, and it's normal to get burned, so you gotta just be very careful. As you can tell, I was not being very careful right now, so. Okay, so now we're gonna just mix in the chicken with this. Oh. Funny fact is that the pasta that we got at the Cheesecake Factory it didn't have chicken, it just had sausage and um, shrimp. But honestly, I am not a big fan of shrimp, so I decided to kind of change it up a little bit. Because like I said, you make your own rules in the kitchen, so I just added sausage and chicken to my pasta, and that's how it worked out. Per perfectly fine for me and my family. So now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be adding the cooked pasta in here. As you can tell, it kind of got a little dry, but it's okay. No biggie. Now what we're gonna be doing is just basically mixing everything together. sure that you put all the sauce on top of the pasta a lot of the sauce tends to stay in the bottom but that's why you have to get a spoon and start mixing everything together you know so everything can be well well cooked and well tasteful <laughs> You can see I am all the all the sauce that stays on the bottom. I am kind of just like moving everything around so I can get all the flavors together. So once that's that, like how it is. We're gonna just kind of let it heat up in there for just a quite minute or so. Me and my family like adding cheese onto it because we're like big cheese fans. But I know that there's people that don't like adding cheese onto it. So honestly, it's up to your preference if you guys like cheese or if you guys don't. Like I said, my family likes, me and my family like cheese. So we just add a little bit of um, 
shredded mozzarella cheese and we just kind of let it sit there for like I said quite a minute so everything can just get well heated it could get all the flavors together and once all that's done it should be ready to serve so the pasta is now ready as you can see all the cheese has been melted everything looks well simmered in so I'm just gonna start serving it now Wow, this looks delicioso. Like I said, my family loves cheese, so, you know, we don't ever mind cheese on it. Voila. Now what we're gonna do is, just to make it a little bit more fancier, I guess you can say, we're gonna be adding a bit of mozzarella, or I'm lying to you, parmesan and Roman cheese on it, on top of it. And as well as a few, a few of parsley flakes. Just to make it look a little bit more fancier, you know. It also gives more taste. And for, this is gonna be for my hubby, so I'm gonna be adding more red pepper flakes because he likes a spice to it. So, yeah, we're going to be adding that onto it. Oh, what the? My bad. Sorry. Opened the wrong side. There you go. Do you want chile on it? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I already have chile made here, as you can see. Like I said, my hubby likes things with the spice to it so we're gonna be adding some chili on, on top of it because he likes his shit spicy you know he almost likes his ass and his fucking butthole to burn and shit but it's okay you know okay so now we're gonna get his reaction on how the pasta tastes and then we'll go by there so he is digging in and we are going to see his reaction what do you think, babe? Wow. Bum? Yeah, I can't stop eating. <laughs> so that's it, guys. That's a wrap. So this is how you make the marinara sauce pasta. I don't know, honestly. I just made, came up with this pasta. So, yeah, I hope you guys like it. Okay, so that's a wrap, guys. Um... I hope you guys liked this video as much as I enjoyed making this video and obviously make sure to like, comment, or subscribe if you did like this video and if you guys want more videos like this. Next video, perhaps I'm going to be doing a makeup video because I know many people requested it but once again, just stay tuned on my YouTube videos, uh, I mean my YouTube channel because I am going to be posting more videos so just stay tuned that like I said. And if you like this video, make sure to share with someone else because, you know, it's always good to share recipes with other people because, hey, I'm not going to lie. I go on YouTube myself sometimes because I don't know what to cook, you know. So, you know, things like this are just ideas of for you guys, you know, to see and to maybe perhaps do it yourselves if you want to try it out. And if you guys do try it out, make sure to send me a snap or a message through Instagram that you like the recipe that you made it at home send me pictures if you guys do try it out and yeah so stay tuned and i'll see you in my next video